So it's totally fine if you didn't watch 32A. You don't need that one to understand 32B. 32B, here we go. We're going to cover night section 12.3. And because I did such a gory job of going into how you calculate the center of mass of a plate in 32A, I'm not really going to cover night 12.4. So let's do 12.3. 12.3 asks the following question. Suppose you have a bunch of points. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six points, but you could say that's one, two, three, dot, 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 M points. And suppose these points are all welded together. This is my office mate. Say hi to Professor Reckinger. Hi. Uh... This is just drawing pictures? Yep, that's all we do here is draw pictures and erase them. This is art. I'll make sure that makes the video, okay? <laughs> so here we have these M points, and now they're all welded together by these rods that you don't have to worry about, except that they're there to weld all these points together. So these can't, points can't really move relative to the, each other. And let's assume that this one's M1, and this one's M2, and this one's M3, dot, 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 this one's M sub capital M. Now, let's n nail down this plate. So I'm going to take a nail, I'm going to throw it through the plate. And I'm going to throw it through the plate right there. So now, this thing, these uh, points, can only whirl around this point right here. Okay, well, if they can only whirl around that point, let's give the uh, amount that they're whirling around that point some uh, name, angular frequency, omega. And now we can ask the question, how much kinetic energy is there here? Well, how fast is this guy moving? Let's call that V1. Its kinetic energy is 1 half m V1 squared. Then there's how much is this one moving? Well, its kinetic energy is plus one half m, and this should have been m1, m2, v2 squared. And then there's how much this one, dot, 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 all the way up to the last one, which is, so plus dot, 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 plus one half m sub capital m, v sub capital m squared. And this thing that we're calculating here is the total kinetic energy of the whirling plate. Well, now we got another thing we can do. Let's suppose that the distance from here to here is R1. And let's suppose the distance from there to there is R2, etc. R3, dot, 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 R sub M. Now there's a relationship between how fast the thing is going and given that it's whirling and this radius. And the relationship is that V1 is R1 omega. That just says that whatever omega is, you multiply it by R and you get the velocity. And in this case, it's R1, that radius, and you get velocity 1. And if it was a bigger radius, you'd get a bigger velocity. And if it's some smaller radius, like this one down here, uh, R sub m looks a little smaller than the others, then it would still be multiplied by omega, but since r sub m is smaller, then v sub m is going to be smaller. So we know all those. Now let's substitute. You see where I have v1 up there? Let's substitute what we just learned, that v1 is r1 omega, v2 is r2 omega, vm is rm omega. Let's substitute that. So there I did it. I did the substitution. Now that's looking kind of nasty, but notice that this term here has an omega, which we then square it. So that term there, if you kind of expanded that out, has an omega squared in it. Meanwhile, this term here, if you expanded it out, has an omega squared in it. And this term has an omega squared in it. In fact, every last term has an omega squared in it. So let's factor that out. And of course, every term has a 1 half out front. So let's factor that out. 
And what are we left with in between? Well, this term has an m1, and then it has an r1 squared. And this term has an m2, and then it has an r2 squared. Plus, dot, 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 plus, the last term has an m sub m, and r sub m squared. So there, I just factored it. Let's give this thing here, because it's such a big mess, let's give it a name, let's call it I. What does I stand for? It doesn't stand for impulse. That was the last chapter. In this chapter, I stands for moment of inertia. That's its name. Doesn't really matter what its name is. That's what we call it. That's what we use as a symbol for it. You can tell that it's not impulse because it doesn't have a vector sign over it. So I've done the rewrite. And uh, that's almost where I want to leave it. The important thing is the kinetic energy of a rotating body, if it's rotating around some point, is one half i omega squared. How do you calculate i? It's sum over all the points on the rotating body of the mass of the i point on the rotating body times the radius to the i point on the rotating body squared. Now, if you go to night. 12.4, he shows you how to calculate uh, the i for things that are not just a bunch of point particles. He shows you how to calculate the i for things like a disk. And the way you do it is you chop it up into bits. And then you take the limit that the number of bits goes to infinity. This gives you an integral, and it gives you expressions for i. But you're not going to have to do that in this class because this class has calculus as a co-requisite, not a prerequisite. You'll see that Knight has shown you what the I values are for a whole bunch of common objects. That's table 12.2, and some of the common objects are a thin rod, a cylinder, a sphere, a slab. And by the way, be careful. It does matter what part of the object you spin it about. I could spin a rod around its end, or I could spin a rod around its middle, and I will get a different answer for i. So when you're using Knight's table 12.2, um, be careful to use the, the one that corresponds to the right situation. Well. I hope that wasn't so bad. The upshot here is the kinetic energy of a rotating body is one half i omega squared. I you can get from a table, or if it's a discrete object, you can sum it up yourself.